good news should not be something written on parchment, but should be inscribed in our hearts. Every Christian should be a living book in which the teaching of the gospel can be read. Hello everyone! Today is the feast day of St. Joseph of Leonessa. Euphranio Desideria was born in 1556 at Leonessa in the region of Umbria, Italy. He was orphaned at the age of 12 and was raised by his uncle. When Euphranio was little, he would erect little altars and spend a lot of time in prayer before them. He would often gather his friends and persuade them to pray with him as well. When he got older, his uncle planned a suitable marriage for him. However, Euphranio declined because he felt a call to religious life. He ran away to the little friary of Carcaro in Assisi and joined the Capuchin reform of the Franciscan order when he was 18 and took the name of Joseph. He loved the teaching of St. Bonaventure in line with the prevailing Capuchin teaching trend at the time of combining contemplative spirituality and apostolic zeal. He was known for the intensity of his prayer and he was ordained a priest in 1580. He could have become a famous preacher because of his gift of preaching, by preaching in big cities. However, Joseph preferred to preach in the little towns and considered himself a preacher for farmers, shepherds, mountiful, and children. His words were so interesting that he once converted a gang of 50 highway bandits who came to listen to his homilies out of curiosity. The secret of this success could be attributed to his intimate union with God, a union cultivated through unceasing prayer. Being noted for the purity and austerity of his life and burning with the desire to spread the faith, in 1587 he became a missionary to Constantinople and assisted the Christian slaves in plague victims. He became a chaplain to a group of 4,000 Christian galley slaves. Every day he went into the city to preach. Out of hatred for the faith, he was captured and was imprisoned for demanding an audience with the Sultan. They tortured and hung him with hooks over a smoky fire for three days. But he marvelously escaped death. It was believed he was saved by an angel. After recovery, he returned to Italy to continue his life as a wandering preacher going to places where others would not go. He preached many times a day, as often as six times per day, in different villages. Joseph followed Jesus in the poor, just as he contemplated him in the crucifix and the tabernacle. He would give these poor people a good wash, cut their hair, clean their wounds, and share with them the food received in alms. His concerns for educating the children led him to teach them prayers and catechism. Joseph was a tireless advocate for the poor and established hospitals, homeless shelters, and food banks to serve them. His charity also extended into the jails where he assisted those condemned to death. Joseph also risked his life to reconcile feuding families and gang fights, carrying nothing but the crucifix he kept with him. In his 50s, he was
was diagnosed with cancer and died on February 4, 1612. Saint Joseph of Leonessa was canonized by Pope Benedict the 16th and is the patron of Leonessa, Italy. Let us pray. Saint Joseph of Leonessa, you risk dangers to help the poor, serve the slave, and preach peace. Help us to be brave, to stand up for our faith, and defend our most vulnerable brothers and sisters. Saint Joseph of Leonessa, pray for us to become holy. Amen. See you tomorrow.